One tip for young music educators is to keep being better musicians. Whether that means finding someone and taking lessons on your instrument, whether that means playing in a chamber ensemble. If I'm a trumpet player, I'm gonna find uh, another trumpet player, a trombone player, a horn player, and a tuba player, and we're gonna get a quintet. Or I'm gonna play in a jazz band, or I'm gonna play in a community band, or I'm gonna audition for a community orchestra, or I'm gonna go to the Minnesota Orchestra, or the Los Angeles Philharmonic, or the National Symphony, or the Chicago Symphony, and, and the Lyric Opera. I'm gonna go to a Broadway show. I'm gonna go hear Chris Thiele. I'm gonna go, uh, see Lady Gaga. I, I, I want to put myself around the kind of influences that will make me think about what great art is and what great performance is, and I want to be doing it as in, in whatever way I can uh, so that I am still getting better. Because if, if, if the musician that I am when I'm 22 or 23 is the musician I'm going to be my whole life, that might be okay when I'm 22 or 23, but it's not gonna be okay when I'm 25 or when I'm 30 or when I'm 60. So, so for teachers, my number one tip is find ways to continue to grow musically, as a performer, uh, in your knowledge of music, and to find ways to continue to grow as an artist and as a performer, uh, which may involve arts that aren't just, I mean, if, if you go to 25 band concerts a year, Every college that's within sight, every military band that comes through, you fly to Dallas and hear the Dallas winds, that's great. But if you're going to 25 band concerts a year and no orchestra concerts, even if you never conduct an orchestra, you're not gonna be a very good band director. Um, you can learn a lot more from going to hear Yo-Yo Ma sometimes than you can learn from going to hear the best uh, wind ensemble in the world. So, so we wanna push ourselves to grow artistically uh, in that way. I think, the way that that translates to students is we have to provide those same opportunities for young people. So I say this once or twice a year. Uh, I post it on social media and uh, I'm always afraid that it's going to really make people angry, uh, but I don't care. Uh, we are, there are so many band directors who broadcast DCI finals in their band room. They take their kids to the movie theater. Uh, if there's a drum corps show anywhere in town that's nearby, they take their kids to that, and they should absolutely do that. Seeing that level of performance inspires kids. It, it, it gives them an idea of what's possible, of, of where the art is, of what you're trying to do with your high school marching band. It is immensely valuable. There's also the Berlin Philharmonic Digital Concert Hall. Half of all colleges and universities now webcast their, their band and wind ensemble concerts. You might not have the New York Philharmonic or the Chicago Symphony, but you might have the Roanoke Symphony that's right down the street, or the Abilene Symphony, or the Fresno Philharmonic, and you're able to, uh, the same things you get from exposing your students to the highest level in marching band, works when we expose them to the highest level in wind ensemble concert band orchestra. Uh, if it's a great chamber musician, if it's a great trio, string quartet, solo performer. I, I think that we, we as a general profession are really good at doing all the right things when it comes to growing our marching bands. And all we have to do is do those same things with our students and offer the same opportunities on the concert side of things.